Hey guys, so I'm back using Tmux. What is Tmux? It's a terminal multiplexer. What the hell does that mean? It just runs a service that sort of makes your terminals have a session so that if you accidentally destroy your terminal window, you can reconnect to it and have the same text that you where you left off. I mean, that's the most simple way. But where it's useful with, with ST, Yes, you can get a patch that makes it scroll, but it has a lot of other features that I really like. For example, if you see my configuration here, I really like um, my bind to control AP, which basically saves the whole buffer history so I can share my, my whole session with a colleague or something like this. Uh, there's another thing I really like, the control F. Uh, you know, I've made a video about this. So the control F mimics the same behavior as like using a browser, you know, doesn't matter where I am, Control F, find the text on the page, find the find the text in the terminal. Where where things start to suck with Tmux is the whole clipboard integration, you know. <clears throat> and what when you have mouse on, when you have mouse on by default, by default, um, when you select something, it doesn't go into the cl clipboard. You have to like shift select. I'm not shifting selecting. That's that's against my my brain. You know, it, it's against my intuition. I'm not shift selecting. The way the way around it is to use this crazy line in your config. I, I just search other people's tmux.config, and this line came up a lot. And I tried it, and it seems to solve my problem. So if I select something without holding shift, it should be in my clipboard. Uh, yeah, which it is, which it is. So where Tmux sucks, again, it, it, there's also these nuances around, you know, um, making a selection. So so if I make a selection here and I let go of the left mouse button, you know, my selection's gone. I can't manipulate the, 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 the selection. All these little things suck. And I wish ST just had this by default in a sense, but, but Tmux, where I was hoping to fill the gaps just doesn't go all the way, right? It just brings me back to, I made a video about this, but like um, the bash prompt from Microsoft, it's so nice. It's so nice. Like, look at this, double click. Ooh, fancy, Tmux can't do that. Shift down, whoa, Tmux can't do that. Sc scrolling, okay, ST can't do that. Uh, finding should be control F, but some some reason in this particular terminal, um, both paste, which you can use right click. I made a video, you know. Uh, you can just choose it from this menu, control F, whatever. The bind doesn't work, but you can choose it from the menu. I also kind of like that you can um, go into properties and and select little things. Menu's quite nice. You can go to defaults, and there are bugs. Like for example, it doesn't seem to to handle um, emoji. I don't know why. Why don't you handle emoji, dude? Um, maybe maybe a font issue. I also like a, a good test for a terminal for me is like, can you resize it? You can see it does something strange there. I don't know why. Anyway, this brings me on to like, I was just thinking, is my Windows terminal updated? Um, is my Windows terminal outdated? Turns out that there is a, a GitHub project, Microsoft Terminal. Look how fancy the Windows Store experience is. It's, it makes the terminal look real sexy, doesn't it? Anyway, you install this Windows terminal. It looks like this. It launches into PowerShell. What the hell is that? useless to me. Let's uh, run uh, Ubuntu, right? Um, things pretty much work as you expect. There's a sexy scroll, which ST doesn't have. Um, but the selection stuff, I think, doesn't quite work how I want it to. Like, you know, it doesn't. So the earlier, that, that, bash, that bash prompt works better than this new fancy shell. The settings reminds me of VS Code, 
don't see where you change your font, but it has you know interesting uh, options here. Um, and everything seems to be under Control Shift, which I guess is safer than Control V. But to be honest, I prefer to press you know Control V for pasting or right clicking as opposed to um, Control Shift. I think the whole Control Shift. I find the whole Control Shift C, Control Shift V that you see in advertised in terminals nowadays. I think Ubuntu pioneered it, the GNOME shell or something. I, I find just three keys to do a paste? No. no. But I think right click works. Right click works. Why doesn't right click work in, in Linux? Why doesn't right click work? What the, what the hell is this? So yeah, um, I think it's worth looking at other terminals. And I, you know, I'm actually genuinely surprised how good the Windows terminal is, even though this new one doesn't seem as good as this older prompt one. But still, I am searching for the person for the perfect. I am searching for the perfect terminal, and I've yet to find it. Have you found it? It's got to have search. It's got to be like resizable without messing up things. It's got to have a way of saving the clipboard. It's got to have a way of scrolling. It's got to ha have a, a way of keeping selections and being able to manipulate the selections easily, like make a square selection, for example. It's got, that's got to be intuitive. Um, it's got to have emoji support. Um, and anyway, that, that's just the, the start of my list. I'll, I'll, I'll keep a list in the description of what I expect a terminal to do. Anyway, be great to get your feedback. As ever, comments below, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share the video. Bye. Oh, I hate Microsoft, by the way. Don't get me wrong, I hate Microsoft.